Hey kids, Super Dave here. Wait till you see today's cartoon. I get to guard the president. Yum me! Oh, and then later, I'll be back to show you how to avoid being the victim of highway crime live. When lives are at stake and the danger too great, there is but one hero daring enough to rise to any challenge. He's incredible! Nothing like a little time off. Super Dave, pull over. This is an emergency. Oh, I get it. They're trying to trick me. They've been trying to get me a totally hidden camera for a year now. Stop, Super Dave. Stop. Look at this. My first day on vacation and totally hidden cameras playing a joke. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning to pull the Super One. Please, we're trying to establish communication. You can't fool me. I can see a camera hidden in that gun. It's quite a flash on that camera. Super Dave, these guns are real. They are not cameras. We are serious. I gotta hand it to you, hidden camera. You go all out. Come in, Super Dave. Do you read me? We're not totally hidden camera. We've been sent from Washington. What's the problem? Are you upset I'm vacationing in Arizona? Tell Washington I'll vacation there next time. We can't let him leave, men. The president needs him. We've got to bring him in safely at any cost. Ratings week. These guys really want me on their show. Oh, all right. If you really want me that bad, I'll do your show. But I'm gonna need my own trailer. I only eat vegetables. Gotta have my own makeup person. A big screen TV. And one more thing. If my dressing room is big enough, maybe you could throw in a new spleen. Okay, everyone, make like a thumbtack and stick around. That's my advice. This morning, I got a game on one on one with Crazy Mutt. He tried to. Giddy up, Horsey! Giddy up! Easy on the kicking, pal. Let's spleen is brand new. Ow! The president is ready to see you now, Super Dave. Okay, Mr. Vice President, enough Horsey. We'll play later. <laughs> goody, goody! It's good to see you again, Super Dave. Thank you very much, Mr. President. However, the next time you need me, a simple phone call will do. We got a real crisis in San Caliente, and I gotta get down there and stop that war from breaking out. Catch, Super Dave! Oh, I see. And you want me to play with the Vice President while you're gone? No. I Look, I'm gonna be in great danger down there, and I want you to be in charge of my security. Security? In San Caliente? <laughs> Super.
I know it's dangerous, but you'll be rewarded by being immortalized on a U.S. postage stamp. Look, Mr. President, as a loyal citizen, I wouldn't think of putting my face on a stamp. Spoken like a true patriot. Why don't you just give me cash? Mr. President, your flight is leaving at $1,500 tomorrow. $1,500? That only gives me 700 hours to whip the Secret Service into shape. You mean seven hours. Whatever, I get confused with that hundred hour stuff. We don't have much time, so let's get right to it. Welcome to the Super Dave Presidential Protection Training Session. First, let's see the best way to disarm a car that's been wired with explosives. Fuji, bring in the test level. Didn't you see my foot? Flutty? Well, at least there are no explosives in the front tire. You, Thompson, how would you check the car's interior? Freeze! Never touch the door. Fuji, the petroleum jelly, please. Here you go, Super Dave. Prepare me for entry. <laughs> that tickles. All right, watch closely as I enter the vehicle. Listen up, man. I'm going to show you. Fuji, next time, maybe a little less grease. All right. Once you're inside, there are three things you have to do. First, demagnetize the steering wheel. Second, freeze the wiring in the cigarette lighter. Third, carve your own key out of soap. Yeah. I believe I've cut off my fingers. But we'll get to that later. The car is now safe. There's only one thing left to do. Turn on the radio and find out what a hero you are. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to provide instant protection to the president. When I give the signal, Fuji will activate the protector dome and explain it to you. All right, Fuji, activate. Things to know about protector dome. One, it is completely airtight. Two, no one can get to the president. Three, it is bulletproof. Four, it is sealed to the ground. Wait a minute. I think Super Dave wants to say something. Oh, most cold. Fuji, if I ever get out of here, I am going to take your upper lip and pull it over your entire head. I think Super Dave wants to get out. Break the dome! I have an idea. It's hammer time! <laughs> Attention all agents. The president's plane will be landing any moment. Let's do a security check. Runway one. Secure. Runway two. Secure. Runway three. Secure. Four. See. Runway five. Secure. Fuji, is the control tower secure? Hey, okay, Super Dave. I can see everything. The president's plane is approaching. Stand by, everybody. This is it. One last question, Fuj. What runway is the president coming in on? Runway 9. Runway 9? I didn't know there was a 9. You know, I thought it only went up to 6. Uh -oh. uh, excuse me, pardon me, Mr. President. Pardon me, Super Dave here. Hi, how you doing? No time for autographs. Let me just get out of the plane, please. Wait a minute. Let me check out the stairs to see if they're booby-trapped. Yahoo! Oh. Oh. Perfect. 
The stairs are okay. Greetings, Senor Presidente. Hold on a second, pal. Crawford, Thompson, take him to interrogation. Who do you think you are? You can't just walk up and talk to the President of the United States. What is this? What are you doing? Now, who are you really? I am Felipe Eduardo Conrado Enrique Montoya III, Premier of San Caliente. Yeah, and I'm Oprah Winfrey. Book him. All right, that'll be $4. Now, if you want the wallet size, you can go with a 20-pack. With the 8x12, you get a frame, and we're having a December sale. Four pictures for nothing if you buy the whole kit. And I'll even throw in an autographed picture myself. Look, you must believe me. I am the premier. You say you're the premier? Show me some proof. Oh, here is my driver's license. Credit card, social security, a certificate, six grade report card, marriage certificate, my library card. My tax form, a sworn statement from my mother, a poster from my last election. Apparently you don't understand. I said proof. Here, take your teeth back. You can get dressed. You know, Phil, until I saw that matching kidney print, I thought you were just a clever liar. But don't worry, that incision will heal in no time. I have good news, everyone. Felipe Eduardo Conrado Enrico Montoya III really is your premier. It is safe for him to meet with the president. Bad news, Super Dave. Well, you were questioning Premier Montoya. The president was kidnapped. Kidnapped? Hey, Phil, what kind of security do you have in this country? Hey, we'll be right back. Cool your heels right where you are. Aliens! We're surrounded! And we're not giving up! Don't worry, Premier Montoya. We'll find General Vasquez's hideout and get the president back. You will need much luck, Super Dave, because the man's a sneaky, bloodthirsty piece of filth. Look, you may not have voted for him, but show some respect. He's still our president. I met General Vasquez. Oh, of course you did. Super Dave, I just received a ransom fax from Vasquez. He says, surrender caliente to me. You have eight hours, or the gringo president is American history. Don't worry, Super Dave won't let you down. Fuji, activate tracking units. Ready, Super Dave? Now, all I have to do is feed some of the president's belongings into the tracking device, and it will lead me right to him. President's spare socks, bifocals, jogging shoes, windbreaker, golf clubs, the vice president's yo-yo. I told him the president had it. Fuji, how do we know when this thing starts to work? Any minute now, Zuba. <laughs> Don't scare me. I'll be out of here in no time. I have complete confidence in Super Day. Ah, you obviously don't watch Saturday morning television. <laughs> 600 men against me. I love it. Impossible odds. It's like the mole against the mountain, the ant against the lion, Dave against Goliath. Like fat stupid pig against big bad wolf. Just build a slingshot in Melonhead. I'll do the examples. All right, Fuji. Do you see that spot on the ground over there? That's where I want to land. No, Super. I don't see it. Look closely. On the ground to the left of the barred window. I can't see it. Look where I'm pointing. To the right of that tree. It's as plain as a nose on your face. Can you see it? Not yet, Super. It's three feet from the base of the wall. Can't see it. Wait here, I'll show you. Now, 
Well, do you see it? I see it, Super Dave. I see it. <laughs> and that's the spot. Calibrate it and get me over there. Wind velocity, 23 miles an hour. Check. Angle of destination, 48 degrees. Check. Air temperature, 68 degrees with low humidity. Check. Fire when ready. I said... Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Good shot, huh, Super? Can you see the spot? I see a lot of spots. Oh. Fuji, do I have everything I'm gonna need? No, you need supersonic all-terrain vehicle. Where am I gonna get an all-terrain vehicle? Record pain! Hurry, Super, before guards see you. What's going on here, you enemy scum? It's me, Super Dave. Friendly scum. I've come to get you out of here. I knew I could count on you, Super. Fuji, do you read me? I'm here, Super! I've got the president. Bring the helicopter six degrees left and drop the ladder. <laughs> the rope ladder. Okay, Mr. President. Up you go! Fuji, is the president safe? Yes, Super. Come on up! Stop him! You're a little late, gentlemen. This escapade is over! Super Dave! The president would like a souvenir! <laughs> One souvenir coming right up! I'm ready to go, Fuji! Adios! Oh. Oh. Okay, gringo, what is your last wish? Would you take off my blindfold? Ah, a brave hombre. Uh, history will want a picture of my firing squad. Would you go stand with the guys, General? Why, I don't know what to is. Great. Now, would you all move a little to the left? Two more feet, back a foot, Right there! Activate Protector Dog, Fudge! Bullseye! Well, gentlemen, that's why they call me the world's greatest daredevil hero, superstar entertainer, protector of presidents. Fudge, send the Secret Service to pick up these guys and take them to jail before their air runs out. Well, General Vasquez, I guess you won't be needing your jeep, will you, pal? Well, the president says the crooks are captured and I'm going on vacation. What better way to start a vacation than to turn on the radio and listen to the president tell the world what a hero I am? I really dig this show. Be right back. Sheesh. No more tears. Mommy's here. Hi, kids. Super Dave Osborne here. What a great adventure about protecting the president. I just loved it. Now, what I'm about to show you is a very special Super Dave safety lesson. So get your parents and get your friends to sit around the television because I'm going to show you what to do if someone comes up behind you on the freeway and bumps into you. You say, well, what should I do, get out of the car? No, stay in the car, because sometimes bad people who bump into you like to rob you. I don't want to scare you, I just want you to be careful. So watch this safety demonstration, and I think you'll learn something. I'm driving through traffic, I'm listening to the radio, I'm not paying too much attention, and I look, and holy cow, a bus picture. All right? So I stop. Now... Here's your first safety lesson. Whenever you stop in traffic, make sure you're at least a Super Dave safety length behind the car. Now, could we see what a Super Dave safety length is, please?
It's basically a simple car lane, but a Super Dave safety lane is easier to remember. Second lesson, never get out of your car. When someone comes up and says, excuse me, I'd like to look at some damage, never get out. I don't care if they don't speak English. Don't get out of the car. All right, third and last and very, very important. This is your buddy in the car. It's the Super Dave rear view safety mirror. Without this little friend, you're nowhere because you can't see what's going on. So you stop, you've come to a complete stop, and you check your mirror. I'm going to use it right now in our little experimentation. All right, I'm looking in the mirror, and I can judge Fuji's about 30 yards behind me. I check again. He's about 10 yards. I check again, and my life is over. Oh, yahoo! Oh! Hey kids, it's me, the ghost with the most. Yay! Come on now, kids, work with me here. Beetlejuice, what are you doing? Ah, that's one. What are you up to, Beetlejuice? That's two. Lay that B word on me, kids, and I'm all yours. Ahem. Don't miss Beetlejuice, not Fox. That's three. Ah, <laughs> it's showtime! Ha! Be sure to watch Beetlejuice Monday here on Fox.